travel continuing to be impacted tonight, especially in the West Valley with the usual closures at the wash going out to the freeway. News Channel 3's Tatum Larson continues live team coverage at Gene Autry and Vista Chino, two roads that are closed tonight in Tatum. That can really back up traffic all over town. Oh, for sure. Well, we're right at Gene Autry and Vista Chino right now, and these roads are closed, and for good reason. Take a look at this road right here. It is slick and impassable, but we've seen plenty of cars and even bikers pass this road, and they barely made it out. They are very lucky, but that's not something that you want to do. It's the big reason why the city has put up these barriers in the first place. I was actually on the opposite side of the road today. I saw plenty of cars making U-turns on this road due to flooding, which city officials say is due to mountain runoff from the storm. Several other roads are closed as well, which may have, may have affected your commute today. I spoke to drivers and the Palm Springs Police Department about these closures and what alternate routes are available to you. Take a look. Lines of cars turned away by blocked off roads. The usual suspect, North Indian Canyon Drive, was closed due to flooding this morning. But so were other roads like Arabi Drive, Gene Autry Trail, and Vista Chino. This is generally done uh, anytime the, the water uh, rises to, to a level. Um, that can wash cars away, that can be hazardous and dangerous to drivers. Road closures cause plenty of delays for people on their daily commutes and for visitors too. We're not native to this area, so uh, we really don't know where to go because Waze is not, all the maps online are not redirecting. They didn't know that it was closed for flooding, so I'm just kind of driving around trying to find some open streets. When technology failed, some people started navigating the old-fashioned way, like Pam visiting from Washington State, whose lunch plans in Palm Springs were foiled by the flood. Because even Waves doesn't have it right. So I looked at my map, found a way, and traffic is worse than I have ever, ever seen it. I think it's worse than anything in New York City. The Palm Springs Police Department says that while road closures are frustrating, they're necessary to keep people safe. People can um, easily lose their lives uh, in those situations and the water is powerful up. It will overtake uh, your vehicle. Uh, you will get stuck and you have the potential to drown. So. Again, we caution, uh, we close roads for a reason. According to the National Weather Service, it only takes six inches of fast moving water to carry a person away and only two feet for most vehicles. While roads are closed, the police department says that you should give yourself some extra time on your commute and take alternate routes like Dinah Shore, Ramon Road and Palm Canyon. And as for when the roads will reopen. Mother Nature dictates that for us for sure. I also reached out to the city today. I also reached out to the city today about when they expect construction on bridges over flood prone areas to begin. They did not get back to me at this time. Live in Palm Springs, Tatum Larson, News Channel 3.